Phoenix, more than 300 people joined together on Zoom and Facebook Live to honor the late Calvin Seagood, a civil rights activist and the conscience of the Phoenix City Council for a record 22 years, in a virtual ceremony on Tuesday. After only 20 minutes, the online ceremony was interrupted when at least two people shouted racial slurs. The service continued on a Facebook live stream hosted by the church that Good attended for decades. Phoenix Mayor Kate Gallego was in the middle of her remarks when the shouting started. She tweeted a statement shortly after, I condemn the racists who disrupted Vice Mayor Good's funeral services. This is horrific and does not represent the values and commitment of our community. I am determined to continue Vice Mayor Good's fight. Good died December 23. He was 93. In a news conference Tuesday afternoon, Gallego said while there is no known connection between the two events, the U.S. Capitol insurrection on January 6 and slurs used at Good's funeral service, she is concerned that our civil discourse is so poor, following the events in Washington, D.C. There is unquestionably more work to do in combating racism, Gallego said. We are committed to making sure that if the goal of interrupting these funeral services was to advance racism, that they will fail. Gallego said she will speak with the Good family to solidify the best way to move forward and continue Good's legacy. It was a deeply disturbing attack, but hopefully it can be a catalytic moment for us to come together and become a better, more equitable city, she said. Phoenix is motivated to make that happen, according to Gallego. I have heard from faith leaders, sports leaders and business leaders that know we are better than this and that we are going to come out of it stronger through very difficult hard work," she said. The Phoenix Police Department and the FBI are investigating the incident, the mayor said. U.S. Representative Greg Stanton also took to Twitter to condemn the incident. It's an outrage that Councilman Calvin Good's memorial was interrupted by hate-spewing white supremacists, Stanton tweeted. They came after Calvin after his death because he defeated them all while he was alive. The entire Good family is as tough as he was, and they will not be deterred," Stanton added. The livestream continued on the Facebook page for historic Tanner Chapel African Methodist Episcopal Church. Good was a member of the church for more than 60 years. Jevin Hodge, president of the Booker T. Washington Child Development Center that Good founded in Phoenix 55 years ago, said he is heartbroken over the words he heard, heartbroken for Good's family and for the community. When he heard the hackers go live, he said he was immediately furious. Then he broke into tears. He represented everything good with our city, with our state, he said. For people to deface him and disrespect him and disregard him in that matter is heartbreaking.